Tough last one. You guys ready to get back out? Play? Yeah, you know, got to bounce back from it. You know, adversity set in, so it's time to respond to it. What did you guys see about him kind of looking back at film? Defense. Straight up, uh, shot 57%, gave up 100, so, you know, it's all about defense. We scored 91 points, so just defense, defense, defense. Uh, Kyle coming up, what do you see on them? They got some kind of young backcourt, but Cobb is a really veteran point guard. Yeah, you know, we played against Cobb a couple of times, so I already know what, you know, he's going to bring. Real good player, uh, real good inside, you know, one of the best tandems we got in the, in the, in the league, so. So it's going to be a tough one, but, you know, we got to play defense and play hard at the at the start from the tip. What's it been about this matchup? They won 11 in a row against you guys. I, I wish I had the answer. You know, I, I haven't beat them yet, so I, I wish I had the answer. I don't know what it is, but, you know, even we play them at their place, you know, we'll be ahead all, the whole game, and then at the end, they'll just they'll get us at the end. I don't know. It happened like three or four times to me, so. I don't know, but um, this, I really want this one. Though. Are they in your head? No, no, they're not. I'm just, just trying to get them. You guys don't go down there this year. This could potentially, unless you move to be your last chance at it. Yup, it's true. Could be my last chance. So you know how important this one is to me. I, I, I really want this game. I do. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really want it. You have talked about defense rebounding all year. Did the Colorado team teach anything you didn't already know about? Uh. Just Highlighting. It's highlighting it. Uh, coaches always said it's going to turn around to bite us, you know, the way we were playing defense, uh, just trying to outscore people, and, and it did because uh, we scored 91. Like I said, that's a lot of points, and they outscored us, so it came back to bite us. You guys have had a lot of new players come together on offense. I can't say we're going to come together Different principles, I would say, from different places, and trying to break those habits. Uh, you know, we've met as a team a couple times and tried to talk to each other about it because, you know, hearing it from coach is not necessarily the same from hearing it from your brother. So uh, we're just trying to, you know, get it through each other's heads. Me, Jason, Mike, you know, DA, we're all just trying to preach what we know and, and uh, how to think the game and hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll pass over. Can it get fixed? Yes, it can. All, everything is fixable that, you know, we're kind of struggling with. Have you seen improvement though? I guess in the Utah game, you did a good job against what have been the top field goal shooters in the country. Was that a better effort? Yeah, uh, we play defense, you know, in spurts. We're just real inconsistent right now. So, start some practice, trying to be consistent, and just keep getting better every day. And then, you know, it'll get a little better this week, a little better next week, and just keep progressing. Because, like Coach says, it's not a light switch. You know, you're not going to flip it on. All of a sudden, our defense is going to be great. You know, it's a process. So, we just, that loss really. It really hit home, and it, it opened our eyes up. You know, we can't, we can't keep doing that. We got to play deep. Is there been a point in the past seasons, I guess, where that it's clicked a little better defensively? Is there kind of a sense you get progressive uh, season? Well, I say last year. You know, we came together on defense a lot quicker than, than uh, this team, but our offense was a little behind. This year, our offense is great, but our, our defense just a little behind. So you know, with the all the new guys and transfers coming in, you know, it's going to be a little little lag time. So our, our, our defense has been lagging, so we're just going to try to pick it up. At the same time, you guys, you know, talk about poor defense, but you guys offensive rebounded better than almost all year against one of the best in the nation. Yeah. Is that a point of pride uh, that you guys are happy with the growth? Yeah, it's definitely a positive. Uh, we wanted to slow down their transition game, and we knew the way we could do that was to crash the glass. So. We didn't do it as much in the first half, but you know, in the second half, we really, you know, pounded the glass. Elgin Cook did a great job. Uh, you know, Mike always does a good job. Richard did a good job. So that's just one. That was one of the points of emphasis that Coach tried to put on us, and, and it worked for us at the time. Vincent reports that you guys are adding another transfer. What is it about Fish, McKenna, Holtman, and Jameson that makes guys comfortable and makes this the landing spot? Uh, they do a good job. You know, uh, first they go after the right guys. Uh, then they, they, they preach their message and, and, it, and it hits home for everybody. So it, it works every year. So, you know, I, I can't really say what it is exactly, but it works every year. You don't know, you don't know what that winning message is? I don't. Uh, I just know what coach, you know, it's, if it's what he tells us, you know, you're going to play hard, we're going to run, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to let you play, but just you're going to have to play smart and give it your all while you're out there. What does Coach Altman mean to you personally? Uh, being with him for the past four years or three and a half now, basically, uh, 
he's just been that steady force behind what we do as a team. Uh, and me personally, he's oh, he's never going to be the guy to sugarcoat anything. You know, he's going to let you know what he feels and what he thinks you need to do to get better. And I've, I've appreciated that. Is there a balance between wanting this one really badly because of not being not having beaten them before versus staying within yourselves and not trying to do too much? Um, haven't really. I don't think a lot of people have the the sense of urgency that I do in terms of this game because I've never beat them, but. I think we all want this game just because you know we don't want to lose two in a row. We want to bounce back. Have you so, told some of the newer guys about the history and about having not? Been oh, there? definitely. You know, it goes it goes even past me. You know, I think Garrett Sim, when his whole career not beating him. You know, so you know, it goes past me. I told him, you know, we lost by 11 or 12 in a row. You know, like this is a game that you know we gotta have. Like it's the only chance we got to. Like you said, it could be my last. So. I've been just kind of stressing that, you know, we, I want this game, you know, we got to have this game. So I think we're just going to, you know, play our game. And as long as we play from the defensive end first, I think we'll be great.